Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video, let's take a look on Next.js CLI, how it works and how we can create a basic application. We will go through the basic application structure. So this is the Next.js.com. It's talking about, okay, Next.js is a framework for building efficient, scalable Node.js server-side application that we have already talked about. It fully supports TypeScript. That is the advantage of using uh, Next.js, okay. Uh, you can see that the philosophy of Next.js is, is this has given a rise to awesome projects like Angular, React and Vue because you can write uh, the Next.js backend very easily. So how to get started with this? You just need to install this globally first. So if you already have, then you can sk skip it and then project name. So it is installing uh, Next.js globally for on the system and then in the current working directory we can just create a simple application. That application will have the proper structure what Next.js is providing with the basic application. So you will see Next.js CLI.json, you will see a simple module, a default module having a controller and services. So let's take a break, I think it will take some time. Okay, now we can just say, okay, let's just new, uh, hello world. Okay, so it will scaffold the application for us. You can see what all it has created. It has created a basic readme file and uh, importantly, nestcli.json. It is type supported by TypeScript. I mean, it has a full support so you can see one ts config will ts config dot json and rest all it has some test cases added unit test cases and e2 test case and one simple module with one controller and with one service okay installation is in progress i think it will be doing npm install and all before that we can just see the application how it is how it looked like you might have seen the same kind of code structure where in angular we import everything in main.ts and then we bootstrap the project okay same kind of thing here we are starting the nest.js module i mean bootstrapping nest.js module and starting the application on port 3000 here we have this is the root module okay an application in nest.js is giving us the modular structure where you can create a multiple modules all the other modules will inject in the root module so for us whatever you are passing in the main.ts this will be the root module. So I have dot the module dot is root module. It has a controller. It has a service. In the controller, we will define the routes. So currently, you can see uh, it is actually whenever you are going to hit forward slash. So whenever you are going to hit forward slash HTTP get, then you will be able to get, get the message from the service. Here you have a service and it is just returning hello world, right? You might be seeing some uh, annotations here, right? We are using annotation injectable, uh, annotation controller. So these are actually building blocks for your Next.js application. We have a controller, we have a services. So what is the entry point? Let's start with main.ts. This is the entry point. From here, you will inject the root module of the application. This is app module. App module is a collection of your, all the controllers, all the providers, all the services will be defined here because we are bootstrapping only one module, one module will have all the other modules will be imported here. Like if you are using Swagger module, Next.js module, Mongoose module, that will be defined in the imports. All the controllers, controllers are nothing but the routes you can say. Okay, I want to create a API forward slash users. So I will be defining, creating one user controller, defining the routes there. Currently we have app controller. And if you see the app controller, it is having simple uh, HTTP get here you can define the path okay I want like okay user hello okay so all the sub routes will follow that so instead of HTTP forward slash this route will be hello okay similarly you can define all the other methods here you can use these annotations
if you want HTTP post, right? Then you can execute this method. And here you just need to import it. Just need to change the method names. Okay, this is how we will be creating our routes. So controllers are pointing to the routes. Services will be actually the resource which will be getting the data and services will have injectables. So you will be injecting this app service in the controller. How we are doing it? It is simple. We are doing a dependency injection here inside the constructor you can see. If you are familiar with Angular, in Angular front end we do this thing. We create a HTTP service or some kind of a data service. We inject that in the components. Similarly in the Next.js we are creating services. We are injecting them into the controllers and controllers will from different routes will get the data from these services and will respond to the user request. Okay, so you can see what all other things we have like uh, ESLint rcd.js it is supporting all the TSLints parser options it is looking at the TSLint JSON here we have defined uh, tsconfig first so in the tsconfig we have defined all the compiler options the module type we are using common JS and target is ES2017 source map is true whenever you hit npm run build it will generate the output inside a dist folder if you look at the package.json here we have all the required scripts you don't need to write anything the coverage you to do npm run test npm run lint npm run lint fix npm run build okay everything is here so you can do npm run build so it will just generate a nest build okay i need to go inside a folder right it is just generating npm build npm run start to start this process start the nest.js project okay and if you don't want it to do it you can also use a node mon we will introduce that in our project using node mon we can just use a watcher or you can also do it in the watch mode npm run start dev this will actually take care of if any file changes then it will restart the nest.js server for you okay start debug start prod and all these things start prod it is actually running the nest.js project from compiled output so you see in the dist folder we can see all the compiled uh, files so if you wanted to run it for production, it is running the compiled code node dist main dot main dot js file is there. You can see main dot js. It is a compiled output code. You can decide how you wanted to run your production. That is fine. You can also in production also you can just run npm run start nest start nest will take care of compilation on the fly. Okay, npm run format it is just using prettier. ESLint and all. If you are doing a linting, then it is using ESLint and applying the fix based on the rules you have, you have defined in the ESLint.rc. Okay, basic folder structure. These are the tests where we have written E2 tests. E2 tests are like integration tests where we are actually checking the endpoint or the API endpoint which you have written. Okay, we will also be writing the unit test cases where you will be checking each and every method of the controller services middleware interceptors you are writing next CLI basic things like it is talking about okay semantics and the source root is SRC TSLint build configuration uh, whenever you are doing whenever you are running the build npm run build it will be extending this base configuration I mean you can create a you can create a new TS config JSON by extending the existing one so I'm extending the TS config but in this case, I'm excluding everything which is in the node modules, test, dist folder, and spec.ts because I wanted to build only from the SRC folder except the test cases. Okay. So now you can see my application is running here. If I show you, you can see uh, starting nest application and it has exposed these two routes forward slash hello get forward slash hello post. Okay. Basic nest.js application, plain and simple. Using nest.js CLI, we are able to run a basic application right now instead of that you can start creating your own controllers own services own modules here you can create like okay i wanted to use user module okay here you create your own user module.ts 
user controller dot ts and user service dot ts once you have that module created i can just copy and paste these things like i have a user module i don't have a controllers and services created yet So this is user module I have. What I will do is I will inject this module here and the benefit of TypeScript is you can import directly. Things are good. You now you have two modules. User can have its own routes like I have a user controller. I can just get it from here. I can have my own controllers. You can just replace it to a user controller. Forget about services for now. We will, we will create our own services later. Here, uh, get hello user. And here I can say post user. Right? And I can just return simple hello, nothing else. Right, so this is another controller I have created and the route will be user. And I will be importing it in the user module and I have to just define it here. User controller. Now it should be a part of my module. Now you can see these get and post are exposed, right? So this is how it works, right? This is a nice and clean way of writing the routes, controller, services. We'll talk about more about uh, how all the other building blocks we have in NestJS, which is of, of talking about interceptors, spy, filters, middlewares, all these are actually use, useful building blocks which you will plug to your module. So I have now totally two different modules, one root module, one user module. User module can have its own interceptors, filters, pipe created inside the user module, will have a dependency here and you will be importing this module user module into the root module app module okay thanks everyone